Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. Man, it's uh, it's like 7.30 right now and uh, I'm having a rough day. Um, so I'm at the airport. This is the convenient place in the airport and, uh, you know, parked in my car. I went in there to get something to eat. Uh, was in there for 30 minutes and uh, came back out and right now I can't get my car started. Right now, I mean, I haven't been able to get my car started in the last um, 30 minutes, which kind of really sucks. Dropped somebody off, went to, uh, you know, I was just hoping to get back home. But man, I'm going to have a rough night right now, um, considering I can't get my car started. So I was like, what could it be? Maybe it's, uh, maybe I left my lights on, but I don't think I left my lights on. Even if I did, I was only out there for like 30 minutes. I mean, so I was like, okay, maybe maybe it's the most uh, simple thing that's causing it. So um, I, turned my, um, I, I turned my lights on, went out and, uh, you know, try to see if there's any, uh, you know, I was trying to see how bright the headlights were and, and the headlights were like bright. Um, the other thing is, uh, it's a chilly day today, but, um, you know, everything works. I mean, uh, the, the heat works, the blow motor works. Well, the heat doesn't actually work that well, but um, the, 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 blow, the blow motor works. Uh, the, uh, everything on my, on my dash lights up like it normally does. Um, and uh, my radio works. So I'm like, maybe I left something. I went out, checked it out, and they were pretty bright. So I must have like tried to turn turn this on like you know trying to crank it like um like 10 times 10 15 times i lost count but um you know nothing nothing there's no crank at all it's, it's like it you know there's no crank at all i mean i do hear like one click every time i try to uh, turn it on i, I hear a click I'm trying to turn it on i, I hear I, click, I hear a click so um i'm like all right so i I didn't know. I didn't know exactly. I, I couldn't have. I couldn't rule the battery out at that at that point. But uh, I did get somebody to you know help me uh, jump the car. You know, I had the, you know the, had the cables on on the battery for a good two minutes before I try to crank it. Nothing. Same situation. Nothing at all. So I mean, at this point, at, at that point, I was thinking to myself, okay, okay, that's the situation. Um, it's not the battery. It's not the battery. So now, at that point, I, I was like, I got really kind of, you know, bummed out because it's not the battery. It's got to be something. It's got to be, you know, something more. Um, it's got to be something bigger, a bigger issue. So I'm like, all right, maybe there's something else that could be uh, doing it, uh, causing this to happen. Um, I know it's not the alternator. I mean, right off the bat, I know it's not the alternator because this thing didn't die out on me when I was on the road. It didn't die out on me with my engine running. So um, normally, alternate issues happens when you're on the road driving. Alternate dies out, you know. So, but this situation, that's not the situation at all. But you know, I you know checking that battery, putting cables on the battery. If it was an alternator, it would have turned on. And then once once uh, you take the cables off, it would have died out immediately, and, and that would be a, an alternate situation. But this thing didn't kick on at all. So okay, so right now, it's you know not the alternator, not the battery. What else could it be? So I'm like, I'm hoping it's not the starter. I'm really hoping it's not the starter because um, I had that starter replaced um, about. Um, about a year ago, close to about a year ago, I had that replaced. Had the situation, same situation came come up. So I'm like, I, you know, I was, I'm, I'm putting that starter aside. You know, putting that starter situation aside. I'm hoping that it's the last, it's the last thing I'm gonna think about. You know, I'm gonna think about other things. See, see if I can figure this out. So what else could it be besides, uh, you know, ruling those couple of things out? And I'm like, okay, so it could be. It could be um, a fuse or a relay, right? A fuse or a relay. So I'm like, is it a relay? Is it is it the relay that's causing it? 
so you know, I thought about it. I'm gonna think to myself, well, I'm 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 turning, you know, every every time, you know, I'm trying to crack the car up, I do hear a click. So normally that click, you know, normally that click is 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 what you're hearing um with the uh, with, with the solenoid on the starter. You know, it, it, it clicks when when there's electricity going through there and and uh if it works normally, you know, the motor turns and stuff. But I mean just hearing that click uh, makes me suspect that it's not the relay considering the relay relays the electricity from uh you know once once you know it's the, from the ignition to you know the wires from the in, from the ignition to the relay to the starter and since since it's you know this situation um you know it's not it's not the relay because I'm hearing the click meaning that you know it, the relay is uh, is sending electricity to the starter, so that's ruled out. It's not the battery. It's not the alternator. I'm pretty sure, 99% sure, it's not the, re the relay. So I'm like, all right. So two, there's two things left. At, as far as I could think of, there's two other things that I could actually troubleshoot. One of them I could troubleshoot. The other one I'm going to take a guess uh, as the uh, as the last thing that could be causing it, but. Okay, if it's not the relay, maybe it's the fuse. Could it be the fuse that's causing it? Um, I don't think it's the fuse right now. I don't think it's the fuse because I've had situations with fuses before um, with no start situations. And and the situations go like this. Well, the, the two that I've had was uh, there was a blown fuse, a main fuse that went to... That connected the the main uh, fuse box to the to the battery, and that fuse blew, and I got nothing. You know, um, this was a couple years ago. Both these situations happened a couple years ago. I had nothing. Like, went to my car, you know, try to turn it on. There's no no lights on the dash. There's nothing on the battery. The blow motor doesn't blow. It's as if um, there was no connection to the battery. It is as if the battery was 100% dead. Um, once I change that fuse out everything worked as normally but okay so figure that's not the problem because that's not the situation the situation is everything works except the car um is not cranking it's not cranking at all I'm not hearing a crank so okay that's not the situation the other situation is well my personal you know my with my personal experiences uh this other situation i um a fuse blew and I was able to crank the car. It cranked. Everything worked. It cranked, but it wouldn't crank over. What do you mean that it wouldn't turn turn all the way on? It wouldn't idle, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It wouldn't turn on to idle and stuff. So I'm like, it keeps on cranking, but it dies out immediately. It keeps on cranking. You could hear the starter cranking. It dies out immediately. So at that point, at, you know, knowing knowing what I know, I know that that's not the issue here. Obviously, because there's no cracking at all. Everything else works. There's no cracking at all. So I don't think that's the problem. Um, I don't think that's the problem. I mean, not that I actually did check the fuse box. I actually don't have a fuse tester on me to check it. But I don't think that's the issue. So um, unfortunately, it, I'm, 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 I'm thinking right now that it's the starter. The, the starter I bought was a rebuilt starter from AutoZone. And uh, I've heard about these situations with, with rebuilt starters, seeing uh, that uh, a lot of these rebuilt starters have uh, been, you know, when they rebuild these starters, they only rebuild the part that's broken. I mean, I could have gotten a brand new starter, but I didn't want to pay twice the amount for it. And even then, you wouldn't know. Probably should have just bought a starter from eBay and, and, and put it in. But had this a year ago, and uh, right now, I'm sitting here waiting for a tow truck to tow my car. You know, I called AAA up already, and it's going to take an hour for them to come to tow my car. And uh, I guess I could try to get the starter to, 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 to turn on by bumping it or, you know, trying to test it out by connecting a wire to, uh, to the starter uh, a positive to um, to the starter, but I uh, I'm not gonna do that right now because it's it's a little bit chilly today and uh, I'm not I don't I don't have the the wires or anything like that to do that um, and I don't have a long crowbar to bump it 
So right now I'm gonna I'm I'm I'm, I'm sitting here waiting for Triple A to come to tow my car so that I could uh, um, get this resolved, which really really sucks. But um, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. All right, guys. So uh, obviously uh, it was the starter, which was what I suspected it was the starter. Um, really disappointed because. Um, because I had to shell out some time and money to put in the starter, uh, another starter. Now that starter was warranted by AutoZone. Um, I, don't, I don't know whether it was for a year or, or forever. I, I don't know, like a year or two years or whatever the warranty was. But they gave me another free starter. But that doesn't, that doesn't, you know, that doesn't, uh, you know. That doesn't price in the the cost of time to me, the the cost of uh, the you know the, the the labor that that was put in, the price of the labor that, that was that, that I spent to put the, a, a new starter in, which kind of sucks, you know. And uh, they didn't give me a brand new starter; they gave me uh, you know a rebuilt starter, same as before. So I mean, I had. You know, if if I had another choice, I would have just bought one from eBay, to be honest with you. But my car is uh, is is working fine today. Um, it starts up without a problem, um, and uh, man, hopefully this starter lasts me longer than this this uh, this one that that died out on me uh, last night. But um, uh, all right, guys, uh, thanks for listening. If you guys have a comment, please leave a comment. Please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe, guys. All right, take care.